In any CRM, pipelines can get pretty busy with hundreds of leads. Many users make different changes that naturally can lead to mistakes. So for this reason, it's very important to have a backup plan for the entire lead database. Stay tuned to find out how to export data from Como. Hello there, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Simon, your guide in the Como world. Today, we'll explore lead backup in Como through its export feature, so let's get started. Now, as an example, we'll take our web agency with a pipeline full of leads. We want to make sure that none of the human errors can potentially erase this data. You can download your lead data at any time, but to be on the safe side, we've decided to export our leads once a week. Now, sometimes you wouldn't want all your users to export your precious lead database. In Como, there are different user rights and roles, which restrict, for example, from exporting your lead database. However, you can update these rights anytime. Now, speaking of user rights, those of you who joined our YouTube channel a while ago probably watched the video about how to add users to the Como account and grant permissions. In case you haven't seen it yet, you can find it on the screen or in the description below. Now, to check the user's permission in your Como account, go to Settings and click Users. Now click on any user from the list. As you can see, in addition to exporting leads, you can grant access to users to create, view, edit, and delete information in the CRM. Under the Export section, decide whether you want to choose, allow, or deny. Exporting leads, however, doesn't end here. In Como, you can export much more than just that. As I've just mentioned, besides exporting leads with Como, you can also export contacts and companies and tasks. But how do you actually export? Now, within Como CRM, you can export your leads in less than a minute. Let me show you how to do this step by step. Let's start with exporting leads. To export, open the Leads section. Now, here it's called Prospects. Now, let's say we'd like to export an archived pipeline. So, we click Archived Pipeline, called Fixed Projects. Once we do that, we need to click the three dots on the right and choose Export. Here's what happens next. A modal window pops up where you can select what to export and the following formats, Excel, CSV, and Google Sheets. Also, you can see when the last export happened. So, the first export format option is the Excel file. Let's choose Excel, click Export, as simple as that. The export has now begun. If the database you're exporting is too large, you can just click Continue with CRM and the export will continue for you in the background. Now, when the export is complete, you will see a file as well as its date, size, and the number of lines that it contains. Now, for the most exciting part, let's download the file and open it to see what it actually looks like. Okay, so here's what we get. Lead ID, title, sale and responsible user created on created by modified on modified by closed at tags lead stage pipeline and finally full name contacts company contacts responsible user leads company phone email and additional custom fields all the data from each lead card has been successfully exported to our spreadsheet now, let's move on to the next format, the CSV. Long story short, CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. It's a text file where information is separated by commas. It's the same process as before. You just need to choose the CSV file instead of Excel. Now, CSV files work best if you want to move your database to a different program. You can tick the box for ASCII encoding, a character encoding format for text data. And that is our same old lead database, but in the CSV format. Now, let's look at the last export format, Google Sheets. For this option, you'll have to authorize your own Google account. Once you do that, Como will request access to it. After you click Allow, you'll have to select a folder in the Google account where you want the spreadsheet to be transferred. In our case, it's the Leads folder. Click Select, then Export. After the export is complete, click the link to open the file, and voila, our lead base is now in the Google spreadsheet. In case you don't want to export the whole pipeline, you can export something specific. Just create a filter, apply it, and export it the same way as I've just described. Once 
well, almost the same. Just keep in mind that in the export window, we'll actually need to choose select all, filter applied. Now please note, if you want to export more than 500 leads, you will be offered to download them in separate files due to the export limits. Now, let's move to exporting contacts and companies. To export contacts and companies from your Como account, this time you need to go to your lists section. Click on the ellipsis icon and choose export. Seems like there's nothing new here. However, actually there is vCard files. One difference between exporting leads from exporting contacts and companies is that you have one more file format option called a vCard. Now, what is a vCard? Well, a vCard or VCF, virtual contact file, is a standard file format used to store contact details. In a nutshell, it's just another file format like PDF, PNG, doc, JPEG, and so on. It contains fields such as name, title, address, email address, and phone number. You can even store images. But that's enough theory for now. Let's put this into practice. In the lists export window, choose export vCard. Once the file is successfully exported, let's download it and open it. So that's what a vCard looks like, an electronic business card with contact data pulled out of your Como account. Finally, let's look at how to export tasks. Now, don't worry, it's almost the same process as before. Start by going to your calendar section, click the ellipsis menu, and then export. You can export your Como tasks to iCal, Microsoft Outlook, or Google Calendar, or whatever you prefer. This is a very useful export feature designed to help you stay on top of your Como to-do list. For iCal export, just click Export. A window will pop up requesting to add the event to your calendar. Click OK, and now you can see it added to your calendar. For the next one, just click Attach to Microsoft Outlook iCal. This will take you to your Outlook account. Click Upload File from on the left, browse your exported doc and add it. Select Calendar and then click Import. Now your Como calendar is exported to your Outlook calendar. And finally, if you'd like to export your Como calendar and import it into your Google calendar, copy and paste the URL. Go to your actual Google calendar, go to Other calendars located on the left and click the plus icon. From the drop down menu, select From URL. Paste the URL and click Add Calendar. Here you go, all the tasks have been added to your Google Calendar. Pretty amazing, right? Now you're all set to become a pro in exporting anything from Como, and you won't have to worry about losing a single detail. If the video was useful, please give it a thumbs up, everybody. To see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet already done so. Until next time, take good care of yourself, and I'll see you soon.